Okay, guys. In previous video, we saw about how to clone the UIDF robot from GitHub and add a plugins to our robot for like plugins like LiDAR plugins, kit studying plugins, and camera plugins, and how to visualize the uh, data which is available on Gazebo to our always. Now we are going to see about how to do the mapping process. In previous video, we cre created already a new uh, directory like simulation.src. In that simulation.src folder, we have a ro robot description. In that robot description, we are going to create a uh, new directory like map, mkdir, and map. Using that map directory, we are going to clone the hectare mapping uh, algorithm. We have uh, different types of mapping algorithms available on DRAS, namely uh, hectare mapping, G mapping, and cartographer. We are going to see about two mapping process in this tutorial video. Uh, G mapping and hectare mapping. This two mapping process we are going to see this in this tutorial video. Now I'm going to clone that uh, hectare mapping algorithm from my uh, GitHub. And after cloning that, I'm going to make the catkin make. Now I'm put that uh, hectare mapping algorithm into my map directory, which is available on robot description. After that, I make the catkin make. After clone uh, hectare mapping algorithm to my github account or uh, from my github to my map directory i'm going to launch a gazebo environment by using a ras launch rover description gazebo.launch using that command i'm going to launch gazebo environment into my ubuntu or an ras uh, environment type ROS launch gazebo dot launch after launching gazebo we need a closed surface or closed environment into gazebo so we need to build one house like and set up for our robot so only the robot will do the mapping process why we need a closed surface the ladder have a certain range it should uh, uh, detect some obstacles to do the mapping process sometimes ladder have an eight meter range of uh, deduction so without closed surface we can't do the mapping process what are the main application of mapping process means indoor applications like for delivery robots factory and ho hospital registration and in mining mining is uh mean uh, we didn't know what is a full uh, area of the mine so we need a mapping process there. These are the applications is needed in a mapping for a boot. Now we are going to create an house structure into our gazebo. After creating a home structure in our gazebo, we need to save into our workspace. After saving that, we are going to launch a hectare mapping node. What is the main uses of hectare mapping? We can use a different types of mapping first. Uh, G mapping, we have a cartographer, we have we are we are choose why we choose a hectare mapping means without wordometry data, we can do the mapping process. First of all, we need a, some information is mandatory to do the mapping process like TF is needed. TF is known as uh, we robot is made up of different links and joints. Robot should know the where is my joint, where is my link. Without that, uh, detect the object, but uh, can give the accurate and precision level of the detection area. Okay, so it will uh, affect the robot localization and uh, uh, navigation stack, autonomous navigation stack. So. You need a wordometry information for doing a map, but in hectare mapping, we do not need a wordometry information. Without wordometry information, we can do the mapping process. Wordometry is nothing but uh, is a data which is given by the sensors. Okay, wheel encoders will give the velocity value of a motor, like that. Uh, IME will give the orientation of the robot, and the ladder will give the obstacles near to which are the obstacles are on uh, something else. Uh, which will be available on environment, it will be given by the ladder. So using that sensors, we can make the localization first, a higher, high and precision level of localization. 
using odometry data we can make the map using g mapping but in hecta map we don't need a odometry data with the odometry we can do the mapping of those after okay after building the house structure into our gazebo we are going to launch the hecta mapping node into our gazebo environment after launching gazebo always we are going to launch mapping node type ras launch map disk default dot launch after launch go to topics add and my topics add a map and go on to change the fixed topics or fixed frame to map okay go to top of the avis and click that and change to map now we are going to do the mapping and for operating a robot we known as uh, ras launch ra, sorry ras run tell you operate twisty keyboard dot pi this is a command it will uh, operate the robot by using a tell you operation okay we need to move, move the robots in surrounding of the environment to do the map after mapping done or oh, we have an one uh, package is an map server using that map server we can save the map in two types of format first run after did the mapping we need to after did the map we need to run ross run map server map saver gives a name or which directory you are going to save your map give the direct name to your that uh, ross run map server map saver and you give something else which directory you are going to save your map after that uh, enter it it will save the two formats of files into your directory namely dot pgm dot yaml dot pgm is nothing but it have an information of the map resolution of pixels and orientation of map will be available on dot uh, pgm in dot yaml we, you have white to black 0 to 255 occupation grid type of map will be available on your dot yaml file okay Okay, next after the hecta mapping, we are going to see G mapping. In G mapping, we don't need a odometry. Sorry, in G mapping, we need a odometry information. Without odometry information, we can do. I give the both algorithms link in my description. Okay, 